This is the classic High Torque XLCT limited clearance wrench. Modern industrial bolting demands power, accuracy, and versatility, all in a compact, rugged package. That's what you get with the XLCT. Let's take a closer look and point out some of its award winning features. Then let's put it to work. Like all high torque narrow clearance tools, the XLCT is made to fit into tight spaces where a square drive and socket can't fit. Protruding studs? No problem, since the XLCT easily slips over the stud to engage the nut. The XLCT is made up of two parts the power head with its hydraulic cylinder and hose connectors and one of a range of interchangeable ratcheting socket links to fit the nut or bolt to be tightened. These exchangeable XLCT hex links can be quick connected to the power head tool free in seconds. One of the outstanding features of this tool is its 360 by 360 degree hose swivel which provides unequaled access in the most restricted spaces. A detachable safety handle adjusts to any position to keep the operator's hands out of danger. Like all high torque wrenches, the XLCT comes in various sizes, numbered to indicate their maximum torque capacity at full pump pressure. For example, an XLCT2 will produce approximately 2,000 foot pounds of torque at the maximum pump pressure of 10,000 psi while an XLCT4 will deliver about 4,000 foot-pounds at that same pump pressure. Each model wrench has an array of different sized ratcheting links that fit the nuts and bolts appropriate for its power range. The links simply attach into the power head, making it a one-piece unit. Changing direction from tighten to loosen with the narrow clearance tool is simply a matter of turning the tool over so that the advancing piston drives the nut in the desired direction. Let's take a look at the XLCT in action. Before we begin, we should first put on our personal protective equipment. At a minimum, this should include safety glasses with side shields, sturdy gloves, and steel-toed shoes. Of course, job conditions and local work rules may require other safety items, such as hearing protection, face shields, hard hats, and fire or chemical resistant clothing. Nothing is as important or as urgent as your safety. Check the condition of the hoses, connectors, and the general condition of the tool and accessories for any obvious damage. Any defects must be corrected before pressurizing the system. The XLCT is powered by hydraulic oil from a pressure regulated pump system connected to the tool by special high test hoses. Note that both the male and female unions feature a small spring-loaded check ball which must be fully seated for the oil to pass. Ensure that the hydraulic hoses are firmly screwed to the tool's hose connectors using only finger-tight force. Even the slightest loosening of the threaded connector will shut off the flow of oil preventing a high-pressure leak. Do not defeat this important safety feature by substituting other connectors that may not be rated for these 10,000 PSI pressures. Let's assume that the job at hand is tightening this inch and a half grade B7 stud and 2 and 3 8 inch nut using this XLCT4. Let's further assume that the target torque for this bolt is 1300 foot-pounds. As the term foot-pound implies, that is a tightening force equal to 1,300 pounds at the end of a foot-long bar. That's a lot of torque. Since the output torque of the tool is set by regulating the pump pressure, we must consult a pressure torque conversion chart for the specific tool we are using, in this case the XLCT4. Reading down the foot-pound column, we find 1,309, which is very close to our target. Moving across to the left column, we find the corresponding pressure setting is 3400 PSI. You can interpolate the values if your target number is not shown exactly. The chart also allows you to convert torque in kilogram meters or newton meters to PSI or to pressure in bar if needed. Often bolts are required to be tightened in increments rather than all at once. This is done by simply choosing a lower pressure corresponding to the percentage of final torque desired on each pass. Reset the pressure in stages until the final value is reached. But for our demonstration, we will simply tighten to the target torque 
without any intermediate steps. With the pump set at 3400 PSI, we are ready to go to work. A 2 and 3 8 inch ratcheting hex link should be attached to the XLCT4 power head and the safety handle should be attached. Place the tool onto the nut in the tightening direction, checking to make sure that the reaction point is secure, the wrench is fully engaged, and the hoses are not in danger of being kinked or damaged. It's a good idea to bump the control button before starting to tighten, just to check how the wrench will react under pressure. By pressing and releasing the pump remote control, ratchet the wrench until it stalls at the preset pressure and the nut will no longer turn. Be patient on the last few strokes as the socket will move very slowly. If in doubt, always try another stroke. Remove and reposition the wrench on the next nut to be tightened and proceed with your bolting plan. When removing a nut or bolt, we are not concerned with an exact torque value only that our tool has sufficient power to break it loose. Turn the pressure on the pump to at or near maximum, giving the wrench its full power. Reverse the direction of the XLCT by simply turning it over so that when the piston advances it will turn the nut in a counterclockwise direction. Fit the wrench once again checking the reaction point and the hoses for proper position. Bump the button and observe the wrench to make sure it is secure. Press and hold the actuator button until the nut moves counterclockwise. Continue to loosen until it can be removed by hand. If the nut will not move at 10,000 PSI, you will need a larger wrench with more power. So there you have it, the XLCT Limited Clearance Hydraulic Torque Machine, a proven winner in tight space bolting. Please ask your local high torque representative to demonstrate the XLCT on your applications and let you appreciate its advantages.